what's the crack lads welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player of the week video where we're going to be talking about these players and reviewing them and are they worth spinning or not that's the big question with these player of the weeks i've let my points be known i've let my thoughts be known very much so over the last couple of weeks with these player of the weeks i think that there needs to be an, a kind of a boost to what these cards are going to be in eFootball 2025 my solution to this very quickly is and i will do a video on this my big solution to this i think at the moment is to be able to spin for these cards for 100 coins if you want to have the shortcut version of it and spin from or else make it an option for gp 150,000 gp 200,000 gp per spin um where you're guaranteed to get one player or something like that i think that could be an option or even put them in a box of 20 with the gp so that you could end up having nine players that are just going to be standard versions of the cards even put in a standard version of the card. So have a standard version of Foden, have the player of the week version of Foden, and you've got a 50-50 chance of getting either one in a box of 20 or a box of 22. Whatever, we'll get into that again, right? I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. We will be streaming as well Thursdays and Fridays going through all of these players. So Pedri is probably the big one here. We'll leave him to last with Foden and Tommy Yashu. It's actually quite a decent pack, especially with Caicedo on A-form as well. I definitely wouldn't mind getting him. Danilo is there as well. Casemiro is center back. Let's kind of round off the, the guys that aren't really at the races too much. We've got the Destroyer. Uh, he's going to be a pretty decent player. Blocker, interception, the ex Leicester man. Not a bad option to have center back. I mean, his height and that is probably kind of where you need it to be just about. Uh, acceleration is okay because you get the boost with Pep Guardiola. And of course, speed and all these extra stats that you see here are only secondary to his skills and of course to his defense. Pretty solid, I will say. Pretty solid. We also have Raul Garcia. I think he scored two the, the weekend as well for Bilbao. Um, he's going to be a fairly poor card, lads. He's down as a deep line forward. I just don't see the point in these cards. Honestly, one touch pass, first time shot, aerial superiority, yes. But the rest of his card, it just doesn't really do anything, man. Balance, acceleration, speed, tight possession, and finishing nowhere near 90 for any of them stats. So it's a big bust there. You also have Mateta. This guy is a beast. As I said in my other video, he looks about 7 for 5, man, in this video. This picture not doing anything for him. Um, but he does have nice height and physical content, content contact. Um, one touch pass, aerial superiority, fight and spirit, soul control, heel trick, heading and first time shot. It's an okay card. I mean, obviously, I would definitely much rather Giroud or somebody like that in the air, Onuachu or somebody like that. We also have Danilo. So Danilo has, you know, famously been a really good destroyer in the game. Um, he looks like he's just after coming out from getting his eyebrows waxed as well, but he's getting the booster here, which is the plus three to his defending on A rating. So he does have blocker, interception, slide and tackle, acrobatic, clearance, fight and spirit, but he doesn't have heading or aerial superiority. He does have man marking, but he does, um, he doesn't have, you know, anything past 80 with the aggression with the manager boost or anything like that. It's an okay card. Honestly, this, this card is a destroyer. When you compare him to Rudiger, obviously Rudiger is just reigning supreme at the moment, but this card is pretty decent. You're going to have 80 plus acceleration and speed, jump, and physical contact that can play left, right, or center in the backs, and then all of his defensive stats are going to be around the 90 plus mark with aggression and defensive engagement. Not too bad for the style of play. The aggression kills this card, I think, a little bit for a destroyer, but... That, again, that's just me. Bernadeschi, this guy again is down as a whole player, an average whole player. There's so many whole players now in this game. Uh, first time shot, super sub. He doesn't have one touch pass, which is a bit of a boss. He doesn't have low lofty, which is a bit of a boss, and he doesn't have weighted. So that kind of rules him out for me. There's so many better players in here, even including Modric, who's down as the free version from the Beckenbauer pack. And then, of course, we have our goalkeeper. Standard goalkeeper, not going to get too much into him. He's got long throw and low punt, fairly okay. If you spin him, you can use him for the week when he's on A rating. Cass Casemiro at centre back. So Casemiro is going to have all his defensive stats in the 90s. A physical contact is going to be 90s. Lofted pass, heading, jumping, kicking power, stamina, speed and acceleration. I genuinely just think you're using him as your really deep kind of build up. Um, I like build ups with lower pace lads. They just seem to cover the gaps a little bit more. Blocker interception, area superiority, sliding tackle, man marking, heading, acrobatic clearance and fighting spirit. What's not to like? And he also has man marking. An absolute brilliant, brilliant card with weighted pass from deep as well. Really, really solid card. All 90s in the defense and a proper, proper build up card. Definitely one of the best player of the week packs we've had in a while. Even for people that are not just newcomers. Tommy Yashu, of course, can play left back, right back or center back. 
an absolute demon. He's down as an attacking fullback on this version, so he's not a defensive fullback, but he still has interception, blocker, area superiority, and slight and tackle with man marking, and one touch pass. This is definitely one of the most unique cards in the game, boys, because he's going to have the attacking fullback play style, but he's going to have blocker, and they're very rare. He's also going to get with Pep, he's going to get our Xabi Alonso, He's going to get tackling and defensive awareness at 90, speed, acceleration, aggression, defensive engagement, low pass, tight possession, jump and physical contact, and stamina, all plus 80 or into the 90s with jumping um, that you see there. So it's a very solid card. You can't go wrong with Tammy Ashu, but obviously it just doesn't compare to his big time cards uh, or the club pack card that he had there as well. Caicedo, just to round this off, really good defensive box to box. Very solid acceleration and speed and stamina. Really good defensive stats. If you've missed out on Makalele, Davids, or any of the big time, this guy can definitely do a job for you. He's just, you know, slot him in and he will do wonders for you. Brilliant tight possession and low pass. Scored a banger of a goal the weekend as well. Interception and blocker with fight and spirit. Lovely. Very nice card. Foden. I thought we'd get a, a kind of a player of the year style Foden. I thought that they should have brought out 100 overall Foden. And just kind of like just throw it out there. Um, because he does get the booster, which is quite nice very decent stats as a whole player i mean this is exactly where you want him to be apart from the finishing not and getting to 90 everything else is going to be at the 90 zone um and putting him on comparison with the likes of you know baggio honus any of those Cruyff builds that you have are going to be very similar and i definitely think foden is going to be boosted the gameplay is slightly changed and tweaked this week i hope it stays that way because the dribbling seems to be back a little bit better um but he's got everything obviously you can't give him ball roll that's a pity but he has first time shot one touch pass low loft to true passing everything you could want for a creative attack midfielder and this guy is just in incredible form and he's He's one of the best players in the world at the moment by a mile. Pedri. Up next, we have, last but not least, a Pedri. One of my favorite players to use. I'll probably end up using Pedri again this week because he's on a form. The only thing letting Pedri down, lads, is his finishing. You know, whereas Foden has that extra boost in finishing. Balance, acceleration, speed, dribbling, tight possession. Everything looks very, very solid here. Stamina, even, and aggression. Aggression is a very, very slept-on skill uh, set or stat to have if you have aggression on your player now he has double touch soul control and super sub one touch pass true pass and he doesn't have low lofted he doesn't have flip flap either for the ball roll if he had ball roll i think it would be it would be almost unfair because he is definitely like the most iniesta ish player or iniesta ish player um which i think we're going to be getting iniesta next monday with kaka so we'll have a look at that as well but yeah, it's a really good player of the week pack, lads. I've been critical of the player of the weeks, but as me, as with everything that I always usually do, I'm very fair in my criticisms, and I definitely think credit where it's due. This is a really nice player of the week pack. I mean, if you get the three players on this, apart from sticking away, staying away from like the goalkeeper, Mateta, these two here, and this guy here, the rest of the pack, you know, there's probably about seven players in that that you could actually be happy enough getting. That would be like, yeah, I mean, I'm happy enough with any of those seven. And even at that, I mean, the rest of the players, it's definitely one of the stronger packs. So let me know what you guys think. Will you spin or not? Obviously, if you play in the game, you're full of boosters and epics, you don't need them. But let me know what you guys think, and we'll catch you in a little bit.